give us the background. I mean, uh, give us give us your basketball story. Oh well, I've um I've been all over the place really. Um, you know, I, I grew up playing ball at St Pat's and playing for Wellington and those sort of things. Um, you know, I was lucky enough to play for the Junior Tall Blacks when I was um, 17 and 18. Um, that was awesome. Took a few good trips. Didn't have as much success as we hoped, but you know it's always awesome representing New Zealand. Um, then finished school and that finished seventh form and decided I could hopefully pursue a scholarship overseas. So moved over to Cleveland, Ohio and tried to secure myself a scholarship. Ended up doing not too bad and found myself a Division One school over there in Virginia, um, James Madison University, and um, just recently finished my four years over there playing ball and studying. And here we are. The Dukes. Was it yeah, the Dukes? the Dukes. The Jamie Dukes. <laughs> hey, t- I mean, so, so talk us through that, uh, that experience. Give us a bit of an insight into what uh, that's like, uh, you know, playing hoops over there from a college point of view. Yeah. Um, oh, it was a blast, man. It was um, the best, best four years of my life, honestly. Uh, you know, it's tough trying to, you know, fit in sort of 15 hours of class a week and 20 hours of basketball. Um, it's a lot to balance, especially, you know, where you're you know, so, trying to have some sort of social life on the top as well. Um, the basketball was grueling, you know, three hour practices a day, um, film sessions, you know, weights, everything. Um, and, you know, going straight from class, early morning practice, straight to class and all that sort of thing was tough. Um, but the season, man, was just, you know, an unbelievable sort of three months of just nonstop. You know, you have two, two or three games a week. You're traveling all around the place, long bus rides, long flights. Um, but no, it, was, uh, it definitely helped shape my basketball career. You know, it, it, it sort of really, you're in that mode and you're you're in that basketball mode and it's sort of all you do for a while. Um, and just the competition over there was incredible. Every, every team had different strengths and weaknesses. And, you know, by the time you've got onto the floor with them, you sort of think you know them in and out through, the, you know, the coaches put so much effort in and, you know, you sort of eat, sleep and everything with your teammates. So, you know, you sort of got a great bond out there on the court. Um but yeah, it was it was awesome. It was it was a great great adventure. Come, I mean, how do you handle coming out of a you know such a full on program like that? Then how, how have you how have you found it since uh, since coming back? Oh, it's, you know, you come back to little old New Zealand, and it's uh, at this age, it's real hard to find sort of competitive basketball at the moment. Um, you know, you, I, I'm keeping myself fit by sort of you know ho- hooping when I can and just running really, but. You know, it's, it's, it's a big change coming, from, you know, from every day over there. There's always something going on playing basketball. When you come back here, and it's sort of nearly begging people to come play with you, especially in Wellington, um, and also trying to get in. You know, I'm working full time and that sort of thing. But it's um, it, it was a, it was a big change coming back here. Once you know, once you get in that mode for four years, sort of non-stop, it's it's a bit of a change. Yeah. So tell us how the how the sharks things come about uh, then, and, and your conversations with Judd. Yeah, no, I've I've known Judd for a while now. Um, you know, he did a lot for me back in the day through the Breakers Development Program and all that. Um, always kept in touch with him. You know, we both have a lot of respect for each other. Um, I, you know, I just really like the way he coaches. Um, sort of the way he can sort of run a program is, is um, you know, there's not many people like him. So I'm really excited to come down there. You know, it's been a while since I've played with him. Um, played under him and... You know, I'm just looking forward to. I know he's he, he's got a knack for developing players, not just in, on the on the court but off the court. So um, I'm, yeah, I'm just excited for the opportunity. Eh? And you know, it's great when he reached out to me. I was you know ecstatic. Um, you know, I wasn't sure exactly what I was going to do this season. You know, where where I was going to fit in and what how things are going to work out. But um, I, I think I'm real happy with with where I've ended up, and I'm looking forward to it. Have you done any diligence on the uh, on the shark setup? I mean, what do you know about uh, about the sharks? Well, yeah, I've done a little. I mean, I tried to walk, catch as many games that were on uh, streamed on Facebook last year, just of the whole NBL. But um, no, nah, I'm, I, I, it's a bit of a new world to me, to be honest. Um, yeah. if, it's, if it's anything like Judd Systems, though, I, I know what to expect. A lot of running, <laughs> make sure we're all fit and in shape. Um, but yeah, no, not, not as much as I should, really. Uh, yeah, well, you got a fair idea. You're on the money there. Yep, I, yep. Uh, and, and you know a few of the boys too from back in the junior days, do you? Did I, I saw you were a, well, you're on a you're on a, a, a prospect list anyway with with the likes of Rubes and and uh, Daron and and uh, some other names like that that are very familiar to us down here in Sharksland. Yeah, yeah. So I've pl- played with Ruben. Um, we played in you know quite a lot of the New Zealand select teams together. Yep. Daron as well. Um, also through all those break it development programs, you know, back in the day, those two were always in there. Um, and then just, you know, New Zealand's so small, you play against everyone all the time and, you know, you, you, 
everyone who sort of has played in those New Zealand select teams, you know, when you play them in the, you know, reps or schoolboys, it's all just, it's so competitive and so awesome. And, you know, everyone shakes hands afterwards. And those those boys, I've known them for years. Eh? And, uh, you know, I'm excited to get to, I haven't seen them in, in ages, haven't seen Ruben in years. So it'll be nice to get on the court with them again and see what we can do. Yeah, nice, mate. Looking forward to that. I mean, tell us, give us a bit of an insight into your game on the court. I mean, how, how and how you play it. I mean, what what can we, what can Sharks fans expect uh, from from you next season? Do you reckon? Um, well, I think I just sort of bring a lot of energy. You know, um, um, you know, I can I can sort of do a little bit of everything. Um, you know, I, I love setting screens, getting people open. Defense is what I sort of pride myself on. I'm, you know, I think I'm a tough dude to get past. Um, you know, what I lack in, in height as a big, well, I'd, in the States, you know, I was a very undersized big, but I um, could really bring, you know, sort of the muscle to the to the backcourt and, you know, really get, get down and dirty and try and, you know, loose balls and my balls and that, just that sort of stuff, really. Good Rebounding. Stuff, yeah. Nice. And, uh, and probably the important question for us to do this is, is get the correct pronunciation of your last name. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Don't worry. It's exactly how it's spelt. Vodanovich. Vodanovich. No, I think yep. that, that rolls off the tongue real good. It does, right? You know, people butcher it all the time, and I try <laughs> yeah. to tell them, but then, you, you know, it, it's a long, you get lost in the letters, really. Yeah, yeah, that's right. What's the what's the background, if you don't mind me asking? Yeah, no, it's um Croatian back yep. in the day. Good Generations word. ago, moved to New Zealand. Carry gum diggers. <laughs> ah, nice. <laughs> yeah. right, good stuff, mate. Hey, listen, it's yeah. uh, outstanding news. We're stoked uh, to, to, to uh, see that name added to the uh, added to the roster for next year. Awesome. And, uh, looking forward to having you down south next year, mate. Cheers, mate. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it.